And after the firefighters stop the flames, the effects of a wildfire can burn on, hitting property values. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller analyzed records today from the Bastrop Central Appraisal District. He found market property values dropped nearly 35% in the fire area from 2011 to 2012. That, of course, the result of the Bastrop County Complex fire. The property values still have not made a complete rebound as they are still about 4% lower than the 2011 levels. But while reporting on this story, we realized the story was not just the numbers. You may recall last week we interviewed Amy Pavone. She was sure she was about to lose her home. Oh, it's sad. Well, today Kevin caught up with Amy again as she allowed us to come with her to see what, if anything, was left of her home. We're home! We're home, babies! Come on! Come on out! <laughs> After five days away, Amy Pavone is realizing... Hallelujah! ...she can still call her house home. Yeah. Amy rebuilt her house after the 2011 fires. Locked it all up. Still standing. Thank you. Thank you. I felt like the three little pigs this time. I, last time I had a log cabin, but this time I have, um, I made it out of bricks. <laughs> but what's a home without the ones you love? <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amy's neighbor's um, home also yeah. survived. Uh, I come out here and I write thank you this morning. First thing I did. Lisa Nolan raked a message into the blackened grass. So from the sky, the pilots who helped can see more than destruction. This is where the fire came. and The ashes serve as a reminder of how close that was. It's, I know, honey. I know. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. Of course, when a disaster this big happens, it usually means more money out of pocket for just about everyone as the recovery continues. We wanted to know about insurance rates today, so again, we look to what happened back in the 2011 fire. You can't have a catastrophe like you had in Bastrop, where you had $400 million in losses and 1,600 homes destroyed, with it not having some effect on homeowner insurance rates, specifically in Bastrop County. Mark Hanna is with the Insurance Council of Texas. He says this fire is nowhere near the scale of the 2011 fires. He said insurance rates near the fire zone would likely go up, but reminded the biggest claims in Texas have to do with severe weather, not wildfires. Tonight